welcome back to a brand new video and in this video we'll be adding a score into the game and a winning system so let's get started to get started we're going to create a brand new sprite and for this part we will simply paint it and what we'll do is select text and use the marker font and now we're going to call the first one round one and we'll just move this to the middle and grow it a bit and place it in the middle still and set its position to the absolute middle so that's that's about fine now we can duplicate this twice so that this is round two and this is round three and then we want to create another one so we're going to paint and change this to player one wins exclamation mark and we'll move this to the center and then just make it a bit bigger and now duplicate this and instead of player one winning there can also be a chance that the player two wins and that is it and now we just need to change its name and we're going to call this the round display and now we can go to the code and start working on some code so we'll start by adding two new variables we'll call the first one game over and the second one round number but we'll abbreviate that to just num and then we'll go to the events and select the when i receive play and go to looks and we'll have it go to the front layer and then we're going to set the round number to one and we're also going to set game over um, we can find that here and we'll set that to one so now we can just move this here and then we'll have it say show and then we're going to switch to costume one. Oh wait, let's go ahead and rename this costumes. So we'll call this one round one. Call this one round two. Call this one round three. Call this one player one wins. And call this one player two wins and go back to the code now we'll go to control and wait three seconds and then we're going to hide it so now we can go to events and say one flag is clicked hide and then now we want to work on seeing if the player will won or not and which round we're currently in so we can go to control and actually no events and when i receive player one round for round one and player two round one and then we're going to wait one second for both and then show um the sprite and then what we'll have it do is change the round number by one and duplicate it and then we're going to go to control and bring in an if else statement and then we're going to go to operators and bring in equals and equals now we're going to go to variables and create a brand new variable called player one wins and create a second one called player two wins and 
what we're going to do is large readout for the player one wins and put it under this one and large readout for this as well and we can just hide the round number and game over now we'll go to the control and or actually the looks and switch costume to player two wins and player one wins and what we'll be looking for is if player one wins equals to two or player two wins equals to two and you can change this to three four however um wins the player needs to have but then you'll need to create a few more rounds um then if a certain um, number is reached by the player will display this and will wait 3.1 seconds and duplicate that and then we're going to set game active to zero and after we've done that all we need to do is say if game over equals to one so we'll go to the operators and bring in two equals operators and say if game over equals to one and just put them in the else statement and if that's the case then we'll go to looks and bring in the next costume and then wait three seconds duplicate that and hide it and then what we need to do is go to our bullet and change the player one wins and duplicate that and change the player two wins actually no we did not need to duplicate it but it's okay we'll just change player one wins by one um, and say player one um, round one and in this case we'll change not set but change player um, player two wins by one I'm going to change the player two wins by one same as we did in the player one bullet so now we can click the flag and now we can see it's saying round one and we can move around and shoot oops guess who missed and shoot and that will mean player two wins and that will make sure that the player can't move anymore so we can actually go to the um round display and change this to three instead of 3.1 and the final thing i would like to add um is a little um death um death sprite that will show up next to this and maybe make it 150 and and we just add the skull right here i'm sorry 150 120 might work yeah and put this right here um duplicate it and move it this one here oh okay so this skull can be here so we have this one here and this one here and then all we'll do is just bring in this code this exact same code and yeah so this skull won't appear um at the end of the video just because it's the last minute addition to the game and that should be the end that will make sure that the players can't move after a certain player wins so if they want to play again they just click on the flag and start over so that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video in the next video we'll be adding a main menu to our game to add um, more of a game like feel to our game so stay tuned for that goodbye